I'm Lowell, one half of Lou and Lowell's Travels and I have Asperger's Syndrome and Tourette Syndrome and today we're going to discuss how it can be challenging when travelling and walking. I was diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome at the age of 16, however I'd suffered with it through all my life and it was in the last five years that I was finally diagnosed with Tourette's Syndrome but that's also plagued me since I was young also. So being diagnosed late meant that I didn't get the right support in education which has um, sort of followed me into employment, um, there's social aspects which can be a problem as well as environmental such as sensory overload so it can plague you in quite a lot of ways. So the first challenge is leaving the house. So leaving the house, the first thing is mood. The unfortunate thing is the connection between people with Asperger's syndrome, Tourette's and depression. So it can be a battle to get into the right mindset to step out the door in the first place. Well with um, Tourette's unfortunately, there's a link between OCD. So the next challenge is the security checks. And also, it's the responsibility of Lou to ensure that all tickets are bought because I have to feel safe that I know where I'm going and that I'm not going to get lost. So now we've dealt with the leaving home section, the next bit I want to talk about is the actual travelling. So before Covid we would very regularly go on the train to locations that we were going to film and this comes with its own overwhelming problems. Large crowds, loud noises, it's a big factor in my anxiety when we're travelling. And the last point for travelling itself would be once we've actually arrived at the location, obviously there's anxiety about getting lost. Uh, sometimes we use a, a GPS map and we can follow it, so I feel a bit better when I can see us going along the line. Um, otherwise it can be quite daunting and cause a lot of anxiety. As you know, if you've been watching Lou and Lost Travel, obviously we film our adventures and filming also can be a task at times. So the difficulty with making a recording of our travels is the fact that I do have Tourette's Syndrome, so I try to not tick because, not because I'm ashamed of ticking, but because 
I don't want that to take attention away from what we're actually doing. So you may notice the odd tick. We have to retake film multiple times until I can control my body. And also um, I have a, a sniff which is my audio, audible tick. So yeah, it can be sometimes a bit difficult, but we get there in the end. Right, Lou, so as I've been speaking about um, our travels mm. and how it can sometimes be a challenge, what is your take on, you know, when we go out for the day? Well, um, it can be quite difficult, especially when leaving the house, um, you know, because you've got to do all your security checks, um, and then there's the mood, you know, about getting up and going out in the first place. So, yeah, it can, it can be at times, it can be a little bit frustrating. But having said that, I do understand, you know, um, why things have to be this way sometimes. And now I, I would say I'm a lot more used to it now. So, yeah. Yeah, and that's one thing I forgot to mention. Sometimes we can be running for the tram, can't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes we can, you know, if we're having a bit of a, a day where we've left the house a bit late and things, it can be, you know, a bit, bit of a task. So, as chief editor of the videos each week, <laughs> um, you obviously know how many takes we have to have to do, and sometimes I'll just forget what I'm going to say. Right, we've now found the uh, park tunnels, which it was a... Uh, do it again. Right, so... Uh, one minute. Do it again. Here we are not far. There's the line of houses, so we are local. Um, start again. So, what do you think about that? Well, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, um, doing the, the shots that we do, you know, we, I mean, sometimes we could take some really good shots and then Lauren might, you know, start ticking. But again, it's just about understanding that. Um, you've just got, you've just got to have patience with it, I guess. And, you know, and just make sure that the video comes out the best it can. But I think more importantly, definitely for me as well, is when we go out, I want us to have a good time. I don't want us to worry. I mean, yeah, you know, I can relate to when you're in a crowd of people or there's a lot of people around you, I get anxious as well. So I totally understand that. But there has been a lot of times when we've been out and we've had an absolutely amazing time. And that's, you know, that's the main thing for us isn't it yeah and also as you know showing people the beauty of the outdoors yeah so thank you for coming on our walk and talk today around our immediate local area um today we've been speaking about things that people you know wouldn't be aware of from watching our channel so we just thought we'd give a little bit more context about ourselves um but the aim, although I did point out, you know, the challenges of living with these conditions, I just want people to see this. People, especially at the moment, you know, walking is the best thing at the moment for mental health. And people put obstacles in front of them. And it's very easy to come up with excuses, but it really is good for you. And if I can overcome every single step that I have to go through just to go on a walk then you know there's hope for others but the main thing is that you need somebody who you trust and somebody who will look after you like I've got Lou so it's very important to you know have a companion don't go out alone if you're not confident and just work together build up the confidence and you can go anywhere as we've shown so well, thank you very much for joining us um, on this bit Lou? No, I'm going to let you end it this time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> right, so, um, yeah, well, please comment if you've got any, you know, experience of your own or you know somebody, because it'd be really good to, you know, show people this and encourage them. Definitely. Because...
you know, it's horrible being in a, a prison in your own head. And it's one step at a time to get out of it. So if you please like the video and share and you can hit that subscribe button to follow more of our adventures. So bye. Bye. If I can do it, you can do it.